you know, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the one video that doesn't tell you what you want to hear. Now, if that means that you click out of this, then so be it. But, you know, you're probably looking for someone to tell you that credit repair and credit sweeps and whatnot are overnight processes and um, that, you know, it's going to be only 45 days or that you're going to get results in two months or that you're going to raise your score by 100 points really, really quick or that, you know, whatever, that your debt's going to come off when your negative items are removed. All of these things that you want to hear are not true. They don't exist, but someone is going to sell it to you, right? It doesn't exist, but it's going to be on that next call. It doesn't exist, but you're definitely going to buy it, okay? So if you are looking for somebody to tell you these things, it is not me. It is not on this video, and I'm going to tell you the exact opposite, all right? So this is not normally how I start my videos, but we have a lot to talk about, all right? So, you know, first of all, we need to get real. Everybody lives in a microwave society. What is a microwave? A microwave is something where... You can take food that otherwise you would have had to either cook on the stove or cook in the oven and you can make it in a fraction of the time, right? So that is what everybody's trying to do. Or you're hungry and you go through the drive through a McDonald's or a Jack in the Box or whatever it is, right? Because it is fast. You, you know, order it, you go to the window, you pay, you grab your food and you drive off and you either eat it while you're driving or you go home and you eat real quick, you go to work, whatever it is, everything is quick. We live in a fast food microwave society and everybody thinks that that is the way that everything happens and that is not the truth. All right. So I'm not here to tell you these things because, you know, you think I'm trying to scheme you or whatever. I'm telling you these things because I'm educating you. The only person that benefits from any of this is you. Obviously, you know, I might get a little bit of business or whatever, but the entire point behind this is that my job is to make sure that I explicate things so that you can go out and make the right decision, so that you can make the right decision for yourself and understand everything that goes into this because it's a process. Everything is a process, right? Even on the back of your microwave dinners, it has instructions that you put it in for three minutes, you pull it back, you stir the potatoes, you put it in, you put it in for another five minutes, and then boop, your food's done. Even that has a process. So why wouldn't this have a process as well? When you understand the process behind it, it makes it not only easier to understand, it makes it so that you appreciate it. You appreciate everything that goes into it because, you know, I'll tell you, there's nobody that does what I do. There's literally nobody, no company that does what I do. And it's still not even appreciated. All right. Well, other companies do 12 months to five years. I'm doing a max of nine months. While they're only sending out templates, I customize and write every single letter right then. While they're only doing a couple items per month, I'm doing every single negative item per month. While they're doing one bureau at a time, I do all three bureaus at a time. But even then, People don't get it. People don't understand it because they don't understand that it is a process. They don't understand that the bureaus are going to give bullshit for the first three rounds or so. I'm going to say, oh, we're not going to reinvestigate. You know, you didn't send in this. You know, we don't understand the nature of your speed. But eventually, they're going to have to investigate because we're taking the facts directly from the credit report and putting it into the letter and telling them why it needs to be removed. Because remember... Every single time you send in a template, a letter that has been sent, been sent before that you didn't write yourself, it's going to come back as verified, okay? You seriously need to understand how this works, all right? You send in this letter, it gets read by the machine, it doesn't matter, don't try to fool it and all that kind of stuff. You send in this letter, it reads it by the machine, reads it, and it's going to be like, oh, you didn't write this. There's been a thousand, hundred, bazillion letters just like this. It's automatically verified, and guess what? You just lost 30 days, 45 days, six months. That's literal time out of your life. You can always make your money back, right? You lose 10 bucks. Oh, I just found a hundred. You do this. You know, okay. You get what I'm saying? You didn't go to work for four days. Okay. You took on 10 extra shifts. You can always make your money back, but you cannot 
get back your time and people don't understand this all right and that's one of the things that i try to instill in people is not only is this a process but you got to have patience okay i cannot stress that enough you have to have patience you have to let somebody somebody work on your file why why do you have to why do you have to just sit there and let someone work on your file well there's a couple reasons behind it but number one the bureaus are gonna do whatever they're gonna do until they do what they're supposed to right so that's a process the second thing is is that I don't need, I can go on for like 500 hours about this let's just make this really really simple okay you go to company A and you gotta let them do what they're gonna do you give them six months it didn't work out all right fine that's okay go to the next company all right or do it yourself or whatever but you're gonna understand that there is you know a process to this all right so now with that first company if you don't have the proof of what they did the letters you don't know you know the method whatever when you go to that second company you're gonna have issues because sorry about the siren you're gonna have issues because it can be a contradiction. What if that first company was telling you that they're doing this, this, and this, we're handwriting the disputes and blah, 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 but they're really doing identity theft. So now you come to me and I have no idea what company A did and now it's a contradiction because they said, not mine, identity theft. And now I'm saying, oh, it is, but it needs to be removed because the you know the data loss activity doesn't, blah, 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 and this blah, blah, and is a violation because blah, blah. they're gonna say, wait a second, we're not even going to investigate this. We're just going to like permanently put it on the report. Okay. So that can cause so many issues. That is one of like the 50 reasons that I give proof of services. Every single client automatically gets their dispute letters from me. Automatically. I create them. I email them. <laughs> I create them. I email them. I create them. I email them. I even email them before they ever go out. It's just the process. I create them, I email them, they get printed, they go out, right? So if you don't know what a company is doing on your behalf, you can put yourself into a world of issues, okay? There's like 10 reasons behind this, but why would you ever pay for something where you don't know what they're doing, okay? So I went off on a tangent here, but let's just back up or move to the side or move forward or go somewhere else with this. The entire reason, not the entire, but there's like seven reasons I wanted to share this with you, all right? One of those reasons is, look at this. Let's just look at this one more time. 31% of the total world debt, 31% out of $69 trillion, that's 21 point four something or other. It's 21.4, let's find the real number. 21, no, it's not 21 point, it's 21,465, all right. Guys, that's, oh, that's a lot, that's a lot, all right. So here's one of the problems. People think that when they send in their disputes. So let's just say, let's start with the bureaus. The bureaus get 10,000 letters a day. That's per one bureau. So, you know, Experian gives 10,000, Equifax gets 10,000, TransUnion gets 10,000. 10,000 letters per day, that's 30,000 letters in total per day between the three bureaus, right? Now let's calculate, not even calculate, because we're not gonna use real numbers here, but let's just look at, those are real numbers, the 10,000 per day. Let's look at the collectors. The collectors get your letter. We're gonna say that this is your letter. It's actually my video notes, but you send in your letter to collector ABC. What do you think happens? Do you think that they get your letter and then they like go and ring a bell? They ring a bell and say, oh my God, John's letter just came in. John's letter just came in. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. We need to process this right now. It is a VIP. The president sent it. We had a messenger deliver it. The, you know, the CIA came. Like what, dude? No. No. They take this and they stick it to the side right here. They're going to stick it to the side and they're not even gonna touch it or they're gonna put it in the garbage or they're automatically gonna send you something back that says, hey, guess what? It's verified. If you ask for documentation, they're gonna send you in, you know, statement one and statement two. Who are you? Who do you think you are? And why do you think that your letter is so special? And why do you think in this microwave society that they're just going to overnight 
respond to it, delete it, and that your debt is also going to be removed. Like, what? People think, this, this is what just blows my mind, people think that they're going to dispute something and not only is it going to be removed from the credit report, the debt associated with it is also going to disappear. Do you really, like, what do you think? How do you think that process even works that, you know, some dude that works at collection agency ABC goes into his office, you know, his office manager and says, oh my God, I have such great news. I just received a ton of letters and I processed them all. Not only did I remove them from their credit report, I also got rid of all the debt associated with it. No. 31% of the total world debt, 31% of the total one world debt, that's almost one third of the total world debt, okay? So there's nothing special about you with your disputes. There's nothing special about your letter. There's nothing special about the process that they're going to do. This is a microwave society that is really in reality an oven, okay? And you need to see this for what it is. Your credit is only the one thing that holds you back from literally changing your life, from literally reaching your, you know, full financial potential, I should say. It's literally the one thing that states whether you live, I don't know, let's just say whether you're homeless or whether you have a, you know, five bedroom, three story, uh, beautiful house that has a balcony and that's across the street from, you know, your kid's school. Like it's the one thing. It's the one thing. It's also the thing that says how much money you make and the neighborhood you live in and all that kind of stuff. Because I will tell you, I've lived in apartments the size of closets. Um, the first place in New York City that my husband and I lived in was literally a closet. Like the dude was renting the apartment. Um, like he had an apartment with like, and it was like split up and everything. And he was renting out like rooms and stuff. Like he rented out this like pretty decent sized closet, but that was our room that we rented. We didn't have money. We didn't have credit. We didn't have like anything. Okay. And you know what? Money does not get you everything. You think that you're just going to have money and you don't need credit. It doesn't work like that. Like I'd say eight years ago, my husband and I had just moved and we needed a vehicle. Our car broke down. Um, well, kind of broke down. We kind of just really wanted a vehicle, but <clears throat> excuse me. So we had just moved. We needed a new vehicle. We went to this lot. We found this car and it was like 80, 100 or something like that. It was really nice. I mean, for the mileage and, you know, all that kind of stuff and the Carfax and whatnot. So we're like, yeah, we really want this car. We've got the money right here. We literally had it like in our hand. We want this car. You know, let's start the paperwork. How does it work? You know, how long is this going to take? And the dude was like, this doesn't sound crazy, but we, we don't do that here. Like what we do is um, we cater to a certain type of credit profile where um, we will not accept the money right now we're going to break it up over the course of like 10 years or so and you know it's going to be at like 26 to 29 percent interest it's going to you know get us three times the um, you know three times the amount so 8800 times three and um uh, you know it's kind of kind of how it goes and he said you can go to any of those dealerships over there and you can probably just go in with your cash you know plus title taxes fees blah blah, blah and get your car but not here. We're like, what, dude? That's crazy. We didn't want to use our credit, right? That wasn't like that wasn't the entire plan. Like, plus that place was twenty six to twenty nine percent interest. What and the entire point behind this is that it doesn't matter if you have your cash. It doesn't matter what's in your bank account. Sometimes it matters what that score is when they go and pull it because. Yes, cash used to be king, right? But it's not anymore. You, like, you can't even be a credit risk to come into this country anymore. Like, they're literally doing credit checks to see if you are able to come here and be a citizen. I mean, things are getting really, really rough, guys. So when I say that you need to see this 
and treat it for what it is that's what i mean so you can't be thinking that things are so easy you can't be believing these videos and these people and these credit gurus and whatever these pdfs that you read and whiteboard explainer videos and god knows what else where they you know purport that these things are so damn easy because if it were like that i would be charging it okay i understand that people can't go 12 months to five years without their credit you know and 12 months is kind of a realistic time period right 12 months to remove your negative items and raise your score and build out your credit and then apply for something right 12 months but i understand that that is a long time and so i do everything possible by disputing all negative items all at the same time every single round using absolutely no templates all three bureaus at the same time to condense that time make it as fast as humanly possible to get my client where they need to be so that they can go and obtain whatever it is right but i will tell you if there was a recipe for that if there was a way to do it to get these things completed in the time that these people fake out there i'd be charging for it i wouldn't be charging 139 a month or 169 or even 299 a month i would charge five to ten thousand dollars i'd get it done in one round of disputes and i would call it a day i would call it a day i would call it a day right it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that because if it did you'd be seeing that company or that dude on freaking every commercial they'd be on every billboard they wouldn't even have to advertise it it would just be like the known thing it would be like getting french fries with your hamburger right or like you're you know you go to mcdonald's you're gonna get the damn coke because it's like the best thing in the world it would be the one thing that comes with everything it would be like that one upsell that comes with everything you go to costco all right cool you're gonna get your credit repaired too you get what I'm saying? You go and pick up your medication. Oh, you're going to get your credit repaired too. I mean, that's kind of just, that's being a little, you know, joking with it, right? But my entire point is that if it were like that, if it were as easy as all these places make it seem to be, you wouldn't be watching this video. You wouldn't be writing your own disputes. You wouldn't be, you know, whatever. All the commercials that you would hear would be saying bad credit no problem we'll fix your credit first we'll pay for it right we'll pay for it we'll fix it bad credit no problem we'll fix it we'll pay for it you'll pay for it on the back end no money down come in come today come right now come in the middle of the night we're open 24 hours a day we're like mcdonald's all right so you have to understand that because that does not exist anywhere there's nowhere that does that that the way that you're thinking about this is like totally asinine and backwards okay so once again i'm not saying these things so that you think that i'm like somehow trying to scheme on you and you know i'm telling you one thing and it's really just to do the total opposite of what i'm saying i'm telling you these things to educate you because there's nobody telling you guys these things all right there's nobody explaining and breaking down the process and if you don't understand the process you're not going to appreciate it. if you don't understand the process you're not going to be patient if you're not going to be patient you're not going to make progress if you're not going to make progress you're not going to get results so the only way to get results to get progress to get where you need to be is by having patience it can be your best friend it can be your worst enemy all right so i didn't mean to make this video um 18 minutes and uh 29 30 31 seconds but i'm saying all this for a reason all right so if you want to get your negative items off you have to go first into this understanding how things work and the truth behind it all because if you don't you are only going to be hurting yourself the company doesn't get hurt by you jumping from one place to another to another to another do you really think your hundred dollars or your fifty dollars or your three hundred dollars or even your one-time payment of whatever the hell it was two thousand dollars is really gonna hurt them no it's not it's not you are the only person that is going to get hurt by jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping because the longer you dispute the harder it is to remove your negative items and i can guarantee you that by the time that someone comes to me sometimes they've already gone to three other companies and most of the time i don't even want to take them on 
all right? Because it's what I call a virgin file, meaning nobody's touched it. And I don't mean that in like a derogatory sense or anything. That's just the best way for me to explain it. Nobody's touched it, right? Those are the files that I like because I know that any mistake on there is more than likely going to be mine. I'm 100% responsible. I'm 100% accountable for it. But when there's been all these other people putting their nasty little fingers in it and moving things around that shouldn't be moved around and you've touched it and you've disputed it and they went over there and then... It's too much, it's too much, it's too much. Because once again, the longer you dispute, the harder it is to remove. And these companies are not proving what they're doing. They're not giving the dispute letters like I am. So there's absolutely no way for you to determine how they are actually disputing it. And so when they come to me, I say, hey, well, how was this disputed? And they say, I don't know. How the hell do you not know? How were you paying for something that you had no idea what was going on? How, do you, how did you not get the dispute letters that are going out on your behalf. How does that even happen? I mean, like I've already gone over this a million times, but it's still just, it's mind boggling that you guys fall for these things that you want, you believe that it's confidential information that, you know, that's just their policy that this, you know, that you go and buy a car, but you don't get the car. You just paid the money. Oh, well, just take my word. You got the car. Your mom gives you $5 when you're a kid to go to the store with your allowance and you come back and you say, well, mom, I bought candy. And she says, where's the candy? You don't have the money anymore. I don't know. The guy said, you know, take my word for it, you bought candy. Do you really think that would fly if you were at Walmart and you bought all your stuff and you're walking out with it and they check your receipt? Because that's what they do out here. And you say, well, you got to take my word for it because, you know, they didn't give me the receipt. I just bought it over there, though, you know, all the way down that way. No, dude, loss prevention is going to come, and then they're going to call the cops, and then they're going to have to review the video videos, and they're going to waste a bunch of time to find out that you did just buy it, but they didn't get the receipt, and, you know, like, what, dude? You guys need to use some common sense here, all right? So, once again, this is not a video where I'm just, like... I'm not talking shit to you. I'm not telling you, you know, whatever. And I'm, I'm only telling you the truth because you guys believe in things that don't exist. Like my five-year-old has these, you know, weird nightmares and he wakes up and he's like, mommy, there's a monster. And I'm like, no, there's no monster. And I have to explain it in, you know, some, you know, words that a five-year-old understands. But he really believes in monsters because of, you know, the shadows and there's cars going by the bedroom window and it's casting, you know, these real scary shadows and, you know, the sound kind of like how you guys heard the, the siren going past. Like he hears all these things and he, he makes it into an image, like a distorted image that just doesn't exist. But he, that's what he perceives that's what he believes and i have to explain to him that that doesn't exist right it's the same thing that you guys are getting all this distorted information and you're turning into something that doesn't exist that never existed that never will exist there's no 30-day sweeps that are legal that are permanent deletions there's no overnight process this is you know a microbe society where you really need to switch it over to you know an oven <laughs> there is um, you know everything is right now right now right now when you need to understand that this is the most important thing like ever and that you need to put the time and the patience into getting the results all right so um you know I kind of I kind of went more into things that I didn't want to and didn't go more into things that I did want to but um I mean that is kind of just the basis of this you can go and download this i'll put it on my youtube downloads site at expertcreditsweeps.com slash youtube dash portal um if you want to actually get this done correctly and you do not live in you know the whole microwave society and that you do have patience and that you're not living in some dream world where you're gonna call me and say hey I have to have I'm getting a house in six months but I've got nine charge-offs to remove nobody you're not you are not getting that house in six months you're gonna get that house when your credit is fixed okay so if you don't fall in that category then feel free to click on the link down in the description schedule a call with me and I will see how I can help you all right so once again this video is about educating you and um, you know trying to help you and guide you to see the truth behind these things because there's way too many people out there that are saying the wrong things and teaching the wrong things and guiding people down paths that lead to nothing but destruction because trust me I've been there trust me I've been there let me just tell you a story just real quick right so 
I've had um, a lot of you know. Uh, sorry, my throat is really, really dry right now. Sorry about that. So, a lot of you know that I've had a lot of surgeries, a lot, a lot of surgeries, and um, one of the worst things was not knowing what they were doing right that all I would feel is a bunch of pressure and pain and um, it really scared me because I'm seeing all these horrible things in my mind and you know I'm seeing all of these I, I, it was just it was terrible because I had no idea what was going on I heard these tools and you know the tape ripping and, and these machines going and all that kind of stuff but nobody was telling me anything and so I can only imagine the worst kind of like my son seeing these things on the wall and thinking that they're monsters because he didn't know it was the same thing that because I was left to my own imagination I believed the worst right and that worst created so much unnecessary pain so I stopped them one day the surgeons and their assistants and stuff I stopped them and I said you know it would really 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 help me it would benefit me if you would walk me through the process while you were doing it okay all right, Kristen, you just need to, you know, chill out because I'm going to touch you right now. And, you know, there's four of us. We're going to do this and we're then we're going to pack it. Okay, we're packing it right now and you're going to feel, you know, some pain right now. But just take a deep breath. You get what I'm saying? So when they were able to walk me through it, like 50% of the pain went out the window. I mean, I had I still had 12 feet of gauze that had to go into me. Um, but... 50% of that pain that was all in my head disappeared because I understood that process and when I understood that process that pain was not that bad. So this is kind of the same thing where when you understand the process you can learn to appreciate it. When you understand what goes into it you can learn to accept it in addition to appreciating it. All right. So that is it from me. My name is Kristen. I am a factual disputer. Just so you know you should be looking at your report on Identity IQ. I partner with them. If you have not signed up with them, you definitely should. Um, you also get a bunch of other awesome crap when you um, get their membership stuff. You know, I, I don't use it, but that doesn't mean that you wouldn't. Uh, $21.99 a month. Use the link down in the description. You get all three bureaus next to each other. I'm telling you this because there's so many comments that say, hey, what's that credit report or where did you get it that you're looking at in the video? Or hey, where can I see all three bureaus next to each other? Well, Identity IQ, all right? The link is down in the description. The link to access this is down in the description. The link to sign up with me is down in the description. Um, that is uh, not it. I forgot to tell you, I, I believe I made a post and put it on the community page, but there is a new credit builder card. You can get two per person. It is a secured card, so it's not a merchandise card or anything like that. It reports six times per month, um, and it's a deposit of $200. Um, and just so you know, with Identity IQ and with the Credit Builder card, I'm an affiliate, so anytime that you sign up, I may get a commission, all right? So, if you need to build, that would be a great thing for you. It is better than my jewelers and all the other ones that, um, that I offer. Uh, but now, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I know that this was uh, definitely longer, 28 minutes and 4 seconds than I wanted it to be, but was a lot of stuff that we had to talk about. All right. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.